take unit type and it's going to be a variable of type unit type and then we're just going to go in here and we're going to find if actually for each never use pick each integer inside of action definition or function especially functions if you plan on returning something because they have a tendency to cause errors uh, I advise you to always use for each loops if you try to return a picked integer in a function uh, it will crash and it will not work so use uh, for each integer uh, most of the time it's better to just get used to using only this so we need a temp int which is going to be an integer for each temp int from 1 to now we're going to add another variable here spawner constant I like to keep constant variables separate here um, max units per wave I'm going to set this one to 5 and I'm going to add another folder constant in here so we have it organized and we're going to check that this is a constant alright so add unit to wave for 1, 2 and then we find our little max units per wave 5 uh, we're not going to use the zeroed element in this even though there is a zeroed element because uh, it's just easier to work from 1 to 5 and it doesn't take that much extra and uh, memory to have an empty link in here we're going to check if the current unit is not set so we're going to find um, a variable a unit type and here we're going to have the temp wave number and here we're going to have our temp int so basically the first one is our wave number that we're currently working on which will be set here when we run add wave and then temp int we're looping at the current slot from 1 to 5 if this equals uh, no game link as in it hasn't been set then we can add our unit here so then we set variable wave unit type and once again we have to find the variables temp wave number and variable temp int and set it to the parameter the parameters are separate from variables just so you know that unit type parameter is the one we set up here all right now we actually can start setting up waves so we go in here we set this one to run on map initialization and here we can add our own actions that are just defined if you go to the general under label you find all your actions and you will see add wave and add unit to wave that we just created are up here add wave doesn't take any parameters it you know what it does it will increase these variables by one and then we go here and add unit to wave can pick unit type um, say we want marines or circlings I like circlings my pot is probably not big enough for tours or maybe but uh, oh well circlings and yeah I just remember I need something else see this is why you add on as you go so I'm gonna add a new, another one here actually I'm just gonna copy up this one and it's gonna be called spawn delay or unit spawn delay unit spawn delay and it's going to be an integer because I want to be able to set uh, units to spawn at different delays so you could have say three very difficult units to kill that spawn every five seconds then you have lots of small units spawning all the time and it works out pretty well it gives you more flexibility to do your waves so all we have to do now now that we add another one is just go in here and add a parameter in the add unit to wave and spawn delay an integer and we might want to go down here and set the minimum value to 0 point ah it's going to be a real <coughs> 
sorry about that. So sorry. I am a bit of a cold. Uh, 0 0.01. A very low value. Alright. And the fault value we can leave at 0 0.001. Then we just copy this one up. And we change this one to spawn the lane. When we change it, we don't even have to update these things. We just have to set which parameter it should take. And since spawn delay is an integer, I have to change that to real as well. All right. There we go. Now we can add spawn delay. So we go back to our init waves, and we will see that spawn delay has appeared here. So I want a circling every zero point two seconds. Uh, something I also want, might want to add is the amount of units that should be spawned. So once again, I copy it up. And unit amount. And this is going to be an integer, since we can't really spawn half a unit. So copy up here as well. Up here, we take amount. And unit amount. And you'll see now why this is a lot easier than working with uh, setting up a race yourself. If you add things later on, this will create your life a lot easier. Or make your life a lot easier. Sorry, it should parameter. I shouldn't talk about completely different things, else I will make mistakes. Yeah, all you have to do now is go into the waves here, and I can just double click on the amount and type 50 circlings. And I could add another unit, like I talked about earlier, so I could add salads. And I could put their delay to say um, two seconds. And obviously I don't want 50 then, because that would be a bit much. So the link spawning should take about, uh, what, my brain isn't working correct today, 10 seconds. So, if I spawn five salads, they should be coming, stop spawning at about the same time. So, there we go. Uh, we added waves. Uh, we should, uh, I will create a spawner now to spawn the waves. And then we will um, just test this to see it, if that it works. And then we will do the modification of the waves afterwards. So, for spawner, I'm also going to use actions. Uh, we're going to add another action here. Spawner. Spawn. Uh, next wave. We're going to have to add a new variable here. Spawner. Waves. Current wave. I'm just going to set this one to 1. You could um, have a reset function for this one, so you can start over or whatever. But uh, make it as you wish. I'm going to make it simple for me like now. Spawns the next wave. Then I'm going to add another action. Spawner. On spawn unit in wave. I'm gonna add a new folder and internal internal and I'm gonna add one called action. I like sorting it like this because I will end up having um you end up having actions, you end up having functions and stuff like that. So I put my actions here, then I have functions and triggers and everything, so I have it nice and sorted. So spawn unit wave, and we're going to add another action in here. No, spawn unit wave is going in here, actually. Um, yeah, this is fine. It's going to have to take wave number and unit number, so we know which wave and which unit in the wave that we're going to spawn. Do not call directly, because it's an internal function.